make sure to subscribe to A Weeb Gathering. That is our other channel. I will be plugging this from now on. <laughs> so just before I continue any further, please take the time. The few minutes, the link will be in the description. Help us out. Get us higher there. We only have less than 10 subscribers currently. Get us up to a minimal of 50 and make sure to continue subscribing. If we pass the goal, awesome, guys. We're trying to grow that channel. I need your support. I need you guys to do that for us. It's not just me. It's a group of fellas, a group of homies, a group of weebs, really, just trying to get there. So make sure to do so. It would be the world to us. As always, a thank you and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? Chu here bringing you a, another review on My Hero Academia. And... This was a very emotional episode. Personally, I felt it was a little dragged out, but it truly was an emotional episode. So for those that are fans of Toga and Okacho, this was your episode. Uh, definitely one that I was like kind of dreading, I'm being completely honest, just because I feel like their situation yes is emotional but a bit dragged more than it should be honestly just my opinion just my opinion but without further ado guys let's get to it so toga starts this episode off with basically just continuing the sad man death parade and we see how much it's increased it's spreading so much uh, it's uh, basically almost to where the Todoroki family is at, almost to where Ida is like laying down, and it's just a lot. And we see other heroes being overtaken by it, and we see that some of their blood was actually basically consumed, and fakes were being created. Um, also, want to say that Suyu really actually shined a little bit in this episode. Like, in the few moments that we had of her, she was really trying. Like, I, I'll give her that. Like, Okacho has always been known to be emotional and letting her feelings be known. And we've seen this many a times. But Suyu is someone that doesn't talk a lot. And so, for me, it was a little more impactful, a little more meaningful to have her speak up. And I thought that was cool. I really enjoyed actually seeing her talking trying to basically pave the way for for toga to actually have an opportunity to talk to okacho about things and even though it wasn't the best she tried and i'll give her that i can respect that toga also gives us another dive into her memories thinking about her past as a child how from an early age we saw that she was always I guess just kind of different uh, kind of messed up too and we see that her parents were trying to get her help that wasn't working she kind of felt like everyone was just so different and she even says like when will people just give in and sucking blood and I'm like that's not something a normal person would ever say you know we're not vampires and you know you fast forward a little bit and you see her talking to the League and discussing villain names and all that. It, I would say it was a kind of a, it was kind of a nice moment, a wholesome moment for the League. Uh, just talking to each other like that, discussing names. And Shigaraki gives his piece on it, on how it was something that Heroes came up with many years ago. And Toga just kind of lives happy. She's like, I'm just going to live as myself. And so we see that, you know, she always kind of took this in as a very important moment to her. And we understand now why she never really took a name. Um, but the fight continues. We see that Okacho actually gets stabbed uh, by Toga. And she's trying her best. Okacho probably gave the most effort here. If she talked less and did more, I think that would have been fine. Though she did on a lot in this episode. She made everyone float. We see that 
she's able to control gravity in such a way now that you don't even have she doesn't even have to touch the person for them to be floating and like i said it was emotional she just tried to talk to her be there be a supportive person and toga i, I want to say she was just crumbling like on the inside and we saw that she was actually running out of time and um as you know Jin's blood was losing its effect she was going back to more of her normal self we see all of the people or i guess all the jinns and everyone all the heroes that are also floating you know just watching as all the jinns start to disappear you know even saw the news people actually you know being a bit scared of how much there was and now just seeing the the situation kind of be much different now with you see pink in the air pink, a pink glow and whatnot and then we see both of them talking and okacho saying that she thinks that toga has the cutest smile in the world uh, but it was definitely like i said definitely a um, emotional episode um, not one of my favorites let next week will be the last episode of the season i'm a bit sad because of where where it's going but there's not much left in my hero so uh, definitely looking forward to it but let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear your thoughts as always so stay safe and i'll catch you all later